Hello everyone, back to you into today's second video. Going to have a look at the weather for next week to 10 days, or today's second video. That's going to take us to our 21st of uh, June, and we're going to be able to extend out beyond that, the extended GFS and ECM ensembles and may run to around a couple of weeks. And uh, having a basic climate centre today for the next 40 days, that could take us well into... Uh, July, so a bit of an extended look at uh, today. Be verified for spring forecast. The uh, verification for the spring 2020 forecast has been uh, released. So uh, I think they did pretty well with the spring forecast. Didn't get everything exactly correctly, but I think they got all the broad trains okay. So uh, I'm quite happy with the spring forecast. Have a look at verification and uh, see how we did. We've got the uh, weekend forecast for America coming up tonight. That's going to be quite late after... 11 o'clock, but we will have a look and see how things are shaping up over in the United States, uh, and that will be tonight. Uh, okay, so the first thing we've got to do is say hello and a big thank you to our latest channel member. So uh, we're up to 36 channel members now. Can you believe for uh, Gaz Webb? It's huge response, phenomenal response, and a huge thank you to all of our channel members. So, I'm going to say hello and a big thank you to channel member Neil Cutler. My good friend Neil Cutler uh, has become a channel member for Gazworthy's. Thank you so much, Neil, uh, for becoming a Gazworthy's channel member. That is absolutely fantastic. It's absolutely great. Thank you so much uh, for uh, doing that. If you'd like to become a channel member for Gazworthy's, all you need to do is come to Gazworthy's YouTube homepage, click the join button. So with all of the videos as well, take you through to another page where you can see what benefits you get for becoming a channel member and you can sign up on that page as well. Can't see the join button, but work around is to use a link in the description at YouTube. Big, big thank you to all of our channel members. Our subscribers are going up quite quickly. Uh, we're now at 6,733 subscribers as of the last count. So we're putting on around 10 subscribers a day, which is pretty good for a gas web at this time. Of the year without Blasto. Uh, anyway, of course, normally we'd be uh, starting with Blasto updates now. I'm really missing not being able to do updates for Glasto, and that always gives us a really nice uh, boost in the summer. But uh, but no Glasto updates this year due to coronavirus, uh, of course. But nevertheless, our subs are still going up uh, really well. So thank you so much, everybody, for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed to Gaz Love's YouTube, YouTube channel yet, then please, can you do so? Click all notifications after you subscribe, and then you'll be notified when we're releasing uh, content, we're live streaming, and uh, so on. Big, big, big thank you to all of our uh, subscribers. And just big thanks to everybody, wherever you're watching the videos, whether it's uh, YouTube, gasworthies.com, or however you watch uh, videos and get the content. Thank you so much to everybody. Thank you to all the channel members. A special thank you to uh, channel member Neil Cutler. Thank you so much, Neil, uh, for doing that. Okay, let's get on. I'm going to start off with perception temperature. So look at this. We are now below average for June. Can you believe it? We're standing at 13.0, 13 degrees. That's an anomaly of 0.6 of a degree below average. So now over half a degree below 61 to 90 average. That's provisional to uh, to yesterday to the, to the temp. So for the first 10 days of June 2020, we're up, we are actually a little bit below average. And it looks like we're going to be staying uh, a bit on the unsettled side anyway over next week to 10 days. So we did a video yesterday where we said that we could have, could have been starting to inch our way towards something drier and warmer uh, for next week. The model output has really uh, put the kibosh on that overnight. And now we have shifted very definitively back to unsettled conditions next week. We will be warmer over the weekend, but probably with thundery showers. And that lasts into the early part of next week. And then later next week, we may start to turn more unsettled again, actually. Uh, these are the 500 millibar height on the flow charts from the Penn State University for the next week to 10 days, with the ECMDF on the top and the GFS on the bottom. So 500 millibars is an area in the atmosphere, high pressure and low pressure being moved around by the jet stream running above. Red extrapolates high pressure blue to low pressure. So there, in the week to 10 day time frame, which takes us to around the 21st of June, there is an area of above average height sitting to our north and northeast with below average heights over and to the west of the country. Look at that. And uh, it leaves us bringing in the wind from off the Atlantic. So just quite unsettled and generally Atlantic driven there as we're going through to the week to 10 day time frame. The GFS is a little bit worse. Uh, so the trough of below average heights is actually deeper. 
with the GFS. But Ridge again away to the north east, not able to bring us anything particularly dry. And uh, it's a low pressure coming in off the Atlantic that keeps things unsettled. So, uh, yes, it looks as though the model output has shifted. The GFS again has backed down. Uh, we saw this last week where the GFS was trying to produce a spell of warm and dry weather. It's happened again this week where the GFS yesterday was trying to pull off a spell of warm, dry weather through next week. It has backed down really quite significantly. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. So the red line is the 30-year upper air temperature average for Manchester. Looking at Manchester today. So we're starting off a little bit on the cool side at the moment. But temperatures will be lifting up over the next few days. It is going to get warmer over the weekend into the early part of next week. In fact, generally staying a little bit on the warm and average side with your prayer temperatures through next week. But I think these have pulled back quite a bit on the on the warmth that they was indicating yesterday. So not only has the GFS operational run shifted quite a bit on next week's warmer weather, so too has the GFS ensemble shifted quite a lot. Nevertheless, still a little bit above average through the course of next week, but certainly nowhere near as warm as uh, as was being indicated yesterday. And uh, that goes on into extended range too. But look at all the precipitation spikes. So pretty much from today, right way through to the very end, we've just got very regular uh, precipitation spikes here. So uh, it looks like we're going to have... Uh, bouts of rain coming through, showers or longer spells of rain are going to be likely over certainly the next week, possibly the next couple of weeks. Um, so that's a really quite an unsettled ensemble. It is for Manchester, so it's always one of the wetter places, but nevertheless, it's an indication that, uh, that we could well be in some quite unsettled conditions. And this June could be shaping up now to be wetter than average, we shall see. Temperature anomalies from the 11th through to the 19th of June, a little bit warmer than average. It looks like it'd be slightly milder than average. Precipitation anomalies from the 11th to the 19th of June, coming out uh, a, a bit wetter than average. So, so it is relatively mild with the air mass, but it's unsettled away from northern parts of Scotland anyway. This is how the UK Met is looking for Sunday. So uh, we've got an area of low pressure just to our southwest on Sunday. High pressure up across Scandinavia, trying to bring us these warm easy winds. It, we will introduce some warmer air from the east over the weekend. But of course, with the low pressure close to southwest, there could be volatility. There could be heavy showers or thunderstorms. We go through to Monday, and again, the low pressure is out to the northwest. We're trying to build up a ridge from the south, but uh, overall, that doesn't really come to a great deal. Probably just turn things a little bit drier through Monday and Tuesday next week down across more southern, southeastern parts of the country. That could be quite warm down there. But by the time we get through to 144 hours, as far as we can go with the UK bet, uh, it just looks as though it's turning rather slack. I suspect we've got a trough dropping in from uh, the northwest there, probably bringing showers or longer spells of rain. The GFS looks like this. So again, on Sunday, we've got low pressure down to our southwest. We are introducing quite warm air from the east. So it will be a more humid feel and probably sparking off some heavy showers or some thunderstorms. Then we go through to Monday and uh, to Tuesday as well, and a trough of low pressure is quite close to the country, bringing further showers, if not longer spells of rain. Heading into the middle part of next week, remember yesterday the GFS was building high pressure big time through the middle part of next week and suggesting quite a lot of warm and dry weather. Not the case now. Uh, we've just got a trough of low pressure continue to sit to our north, so still relatively cool and showery. Um, and then heading up towards the end of next week, we do try to get a more definitive build of pressure there, but still with low pressure out to the uh, west of us. And that low pressure starts to drift in as we go through to the weekend of the 20th, 21st of June. That's day 10, which is Sunday the 21st of June. Looking unsettled, low pressure is back in over the top of the country. And into more extended range, we just keep these areas of low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic, although we do eventually try to get a, get a bit of a ridge from the Azores into the south, but more northern areas are still looking quite unsettled. GM looks like that. Remember, GM was never interest, interested in anything particularly uh, warm or dry next week. So uh, the GM today looks like this. Sunday shows low pressure still quite close to the country, further showers, uh, maybe some of them thundery knocking around through uh, the end of weekend into the beginning of next week. Heading up into the middle part of next week, then we try to get a ridge of high pressure going from the southwest. So a little bit of a transient ridge there 
uh, builds across the second half of next week. That probably turns us a little bit drier and warmer. But by day 10, low pressure's back in from off the Atlantic. That brings further showers with it. Still no definitive build of pressure from the Azores High up to day 10 with that one. And then the ECM looks like that. So again, we've got more showers coming up on Sunday. Some of them could be heavy and thundery. This trough never really goes away through the early part of next week. So that keeps further showers going, probably. And then heading in towards day 10, we just keep things looking rather and sound. In fact, a deeper area of low pressure then starts to move in uh, by the time we get through to day 10. That's Sunday the 21st of June. That looks really unsettled by that point. Uh, you know, probably wet and windy weather heading in from off the Atlantic. So at the moment, there's no sign of breaking out of this changeable spell of weather. This is the precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometio.com. So you've got showery bursts around uh, today, especially focus on England and Wales. Um, into tonight, the wet weather is across Northern Ireland and Northern England, some quite heavy bursts there for Scotland. Uh, it's uh, still relatively dry, and it's turning a bit drier down across more southern parts of the country. Uh, into tomorrow, we start to bring wet weather up from the south, affecting parts of England and Wales, and particularly again, Wales and South West England. More in way of wet weather pushing up towards parts of Scotland as well. So, really uh, quite unsettled tomorrow. Well, that's into Saturday. Rain again, focused on Northern England to Northern Ireland on Saturday morning. That sort of pushes westwards, and it will probably brighten up to the south of the east during Saturday afternoon. And as it does so, it might turn uh, quite warm, actually. That's Sunday. So rather fewer showers on Sunday. What showers there are, more through Wales and parts of the Midlands and down towards the southwest. But probably fewer showers uh, on uh, on Sunday. Although, having said that, it does also they begin to blow up, possibly into thunderstorms, actually, in parts of Wales and northwest England on Sunday evening. Uh, then we go through to Monday, and again, probably slightly fewer showers on Monday, but there are still showers around. Lots and lots of showers as we get through into Tuesday. Look at that, big showers, probably thunderstorms mixed in uh, as well. More showers, particularly in the north, moving through to Wednesday and uh, then on into Thursday. So it looks a very showery outlook. Got wet weather then coming up from the south there on the 19th of uh, June. I think that's a week tomorrow. Just further showers or longer spells of rain close to the country. And then eventually, as we get to day 10, which is the 21st of June, we started to bring wet and windy weather in from off the Atlantic. So the ECM looks very changeable uh, this morning up to day 10. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. Gets us to the uh, 21st of June. 51 out of 51 members of the ECM ensemble still have this ridge of high pressure up to the northeast. But there's a trough of low pressure in the Atlantic. And that's just keeping the rather showery conditions going, particularly to more western areas. Moving through to, well, two weeks away. This is to the 26th of June. Uh, again, a ridge to the east, probably a trough through here, actually. I think there's probably a trough coming through there. Uh, and then a stronger ridge out in the middle of the Atlantic. So that's the Azores High, but it's displaced a long way away from us into the middle of the Atlantic. So that possibly suggests that things could be a little bit on the unsettled side in going into the latter stages of the month. Last thing we're going to look at is the Bayesian Climate Centre. So these are 500 mm of our heights broken down into 10-day periods. The first 10-day period is going to take us from the 11th to the 20th of June. Uh, so the coming 10 days has above average heights out to the northwest, below average heights to our south. Winds will be coming in from the east. Uh, and so the most of the same conditions with this are for more southern and uh, southern parts of the country. The driest conditions are away to uh, the northwest. The next 10 day period looks like that. It's the 21st to the 30th of June. Low pressure in the Atlantic. A ridge of above average heights is sort of over and to the east of the country. That's trying to settle things down, I think. That's trying to turn us drier and warmer into the last week of June. But there's very little sign of that within the shorter range model output at the moment. But that is trying to pull off some warmer, drier weather through, uh, through like the last 10 days of June. Next 10-day period is the 1st to the 10th of July, with uh, above average heights to the south and below average heights to the north. That leads us bringing in a, like a, 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 a flat westerly type flow. Most unsettled conditions are bad in the north, probably driest in the south, but all areas perhaps a little bit more changeable there. 
And then the final 10-day period takes us from the 11th through to the 20th of July, with above average heights then sort of building up from the south, low pressure being pushed northwards. That could be summer getting going uh, through that 10-day period. But of course, it's a long way off that. It stays 31 to 40, so uh, that's, uh, that's a really long way uh, away and is therefore pretty unreliable. Uh, I think what we have to say uh, is that uh, is that for uh, this update and today we've definitely seen uh, taking a step back away from drier and warmer weather next week. So that's the first thing to put on the table. I think next week is now looking uh, quite unsettled again. Certainly showery, maybe uh, quite wet again at times as we established looking at the data from the ECM. Uh, we have plenty of showers or longer spells of rain coming and going. We uh, also look quite cool uh, through, uh, through next week too. So we probably start next week. Over the weekend is the beginning of next week. It is probably quite warm. But as we progress through next week, we probably see the temperature sliding back, maybe to average, possibly even going a little bit below. And uh, overall, it just looks rather disappointing again next week uh, from a summer perspective. It looks rather showery, rather cool, and uh, rather on the unsettled side as well. So, so the wait for summer... Uh, to return continues. Uh, it's still early days of this summer, as I keep saying. We're only 11 days into official meteorological summer, so we've got a long way to go yet. But uh, this June is possibly now shaping up to be a rather cool and unsettled month, I think. Could be, but we shall see. We shall see how things progress over the coming days. Uh, we're going to have the uh, weekend forecast for America coming up uh, for you uh, tonight. That's going to be after 11 o'clock. And then tomorrow we've got JMA Friday, of course. You might have had a look at will there be any signs of summer getting going in that one. You'll find out uh, tomorrow. And uh, also we've got a regular week to 10-day video update, including all of the usual features. And, of course, our European Outlook. European Outlook is back. So uh, that will be uh, the first video up tomorrow. And a lot coming up over the weekend. I'll tell you about those videos at the end of one of tomorrow's videos updates. But for this video, uh, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.